Australian driver Daniel Ricciardo is in advanced talks to become Mercedes Formula One reserve driver in 2023. The Aussie is on the hunt for a new place to call home in Formula One. Is Mercedes reserve the best option for Ricciardo? Stay tuned to find out. Daniel Ricciardo, who will be replaced at McLaren by fellow countryman Oscar Piastri at the end of the season, was seen leaving the Mercedes hospitality section at the Singapore Grand Prix. Ricardo's purported appearance in the hospitality suite of the Silver Arrows was no accident, as he may soon take up a third driver position at Mercedes, working alongside Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. According to reports, Daniel Ricciardo's talks with Mercedes to become a reserve driver for the team in 2023 has reached an advanced stage. The fact that a move to Mercedes is officially in the pipeline puts an end to any further conjecture regarding the future of Ricciardo. Starting roles on the grid next season were available, but perhaps not at the level of competition Ricardo desired. One choice was to return to Alpine, formerly known as Renault. However, it seems like Alpine will instead go for Pierre Gasly, who now drives for AlphaTauri. Subsequently, Nick de Vries will take Gasly's place at AlphaTauri. Haas and Williams are also possible options, but the question is whether Ricardo feels like joining such a team. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Neither team seemed an attractive option for Ricardo, both competitively and salary-wise, given that only four other F1 drivers are paid more than him. When speaking about his future in the sport, he said, I'm not kind of seeing next year as all or nothing. Obviously, 2024 is something I want to be aware of and look at. So that's kind of where I'm like. If it means taking a step back to then take two steps forward, that's what we are trying to figure out at the moment, me and my team. So that could be a year off. Ricardo is willing to take steps backwards simply to ensure that his career is back on track once again. And one of those steps backward could be a reserve driver role at Mercedes. You're enjoying this video, right? You definitely don't want to miss out on other amazing videos. So all you have to do is hit the subscription button. It's that easy. Thanks for doing that. Let's move on. Lewis Hamilton believes Daniel Ricciardo is too good to be a reserve driver. During their joint appearance at the news conference before the Italian Grand Prix in September, Hamilton was questioned about the rumours that Mercedes could sign Ricciardo as a reserve driver. Would you welcome Daniel as a third, as a reserve driver next year at Mercedes? The seven-time champion stated that racing as a reserve driver was beneath Ricciardo's status and the Australian deserves to be among the 20 drivers with a racing seat in 2023. Hamilton said, I think he should be racing personally. I think he's far too talented and he's earned the right to be amongst us all racing. But of course, if he's a part of our team, that would be great. But I mean, the third driver role is not really what's best for him. So if I was managing him, you'd be racing. Even though Hamilton believes that the third role at Mercedes isn't good for Ricardo, it is possible that a move to Mercedes as a reserve driver would be the best thing for Ricardo at this point in his career. Ricardo is currently at the stage in his career where he could benefit from a move to Mercedes. Why is that so? Here are some reasons. If there is one thing that is blatantly obvious right now, it is the fact that the Australian looks somewhat jaded in the paddock. Ricardo has gone through a lot during his time at McLaren over the past year and a half. Only a few of Daniel Ricciardo's fans have fully understood the gravity of the situation he finds himself in at the moment and how the previous 18 odd months have turned his career upside down. Lest we forget, Ricciardo was a major signing for McLaren at the beginning of the 2021 Formula 1 season, but things didn't go as planned. After a successful 2020 Formula 1 season with Renault, during which he had multiple podium finishes and even performed better in the championship compared to McLaren's Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz, the Australian driver then decided to join McLaren. Since joining McLaren, Daniel Ricciardo's world has been turned upside down. He has been decimated by his teammate Lando Norris, and this has made him look like a lousy driver who has suddenly lost his form for no reason. In all of this, the constant media speculation has drained him completely, and he lacks confidence while he's out on track. This was very similar to what happened with Sebastian Vettel while he was at Ferrari in the year 2020. The German driver had lost his self-assurance, and it took a few races with an Aston Martin to get it back. Ricardo is currently experiencing the same situation, in which he is struggling his way through an F1 weekend. It won't be bad if he takes a break from all of this for a year to clear his head and bring back the hunger. At the moment, there are no attractive seats for the 2023 F1 season left for the taking. It has been reported that Alpine is not interested in Daniel Ricciardo, which comes as a bit of a surprise. 
Aston Martin does not have a vacancy, and Haas is just not a place Ricardo would want to find himself in. Just holding on to a seat at the back of the grid is not the kind of hustle that Ricardo would be looking for at this stage of his career. The Australian has made his way through the ranks. He's done his time at the back in a Toro Rosso in the early years of his career. He would not be looking just to make up the numbers on the grid. In contrast to many of the other drivers on the grid, Daniel Ricciardo has effectively used his marketing appeal. He has a variety of income streams, some of which come from the wine firm he established a year ago, while others come from various sponsorships. The driver has been one of the more well-paid individuals in the paddock for a while and is not desperate to race next season. In that case, going to Mercedes as a reserve driver could just be a good way for him to take a break from the sport while still staying connected to it in some capacity. Even if it is safe to say that Daniel Ricciardo's reputation has taken a bit of a hit at McLaren, it appears that the majority of fans and individuals in the paddock refuse to accept that the eight-time race winner has suddenly fallen off the cliff in terms of his abilities. However, his next move in Formula 1, if there is one, will be of the utmost importance. Another poor performance elsewhere could have catastrophic consequences. As it stands right now, no options available except Mercedes can put him in a more competitive car than McLaren. Ricardo has not given up on his dream of winning the Formula 1 World Championship, so the option to drive for Mercedes appears to be the most suitable one. The Silver Arrows are no longer in contention for the championship in 2022, but given their track record and the rate at which they have improved throughout the season, there is reason to believe that it will not be much longer before they are back to their winning ways. This is especially true given that seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton and build star of the future George Russell is steering Mercedes' work. According to Wolf, Hamilton recently stated that he still has another five years to keep competing in Formula 1 before he retires. However, given that his contract will expire at the end of 2023, the situation could still change before then. At that time, Mercedes might look within their ranks to replace Hamilton, which would result in Ricardo being promoted to the position of taking over as the veteran driver for that team. What an opportunity it will be for the Australian to resurrect his F1 career. Even if Hamilton keeps going for a while longer, it doesn't mean Ricardo won't get a chance to compete for Mercedes and show that he's still got what it takes to be at the top of his game at some point in the future. Just ask Russell, who filled in for a sick Hamilton at the 2020 Sakia GP, where he proved that he was ready for that Mercedes seat. Another option available to Ricardo is that he should take a season or couple of years break from F1 racing, but that might have a negative impact on his F1 career. After taking a break from the racing circuit for a couple of years, some drivers are given a second opportunity to compete, but this is not the case for everyone. Ricardo, who is 33 years old, could see his Formula 1 career end if he is sidelined for just a season. If he cannot secure a race seat, his best bet may be to take a reserve role for Mercedes. This way, he will at least continue to have a presence in the paddock and a foot in the door of the racing team. Ricardo will look to end his time with McLaren on a high note in the remaining weeks of the season following his fifth place finish in Singapore, while Hamilton could only come in ninth after another frustrating weekend on and off the track. What's your thought on the possibility of Ricardo joining Mercedes as a reserve driver? Let me know in the comments section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.